brought me to Cigar Safari is uh, the fellowship and camaraderie that I have with my fellow Marines and the friendships that we've uh, built. Uh, also, uh, Marvin Samuels, I had met him. He happens to produce my favorite cigar, the Cuba Cuba uh, by Drew Estate. This is the second time down here. The first time we were down here in March of this year, and it was a great experience. Uh, having an opportunity to meet Marvin and Jesse and Pedro and the whole Drew Estate team was a phenomenal experience. Several things, actually. Uh, one of my love of cigars, especially the Drew Estate cigars. Um, but uh, a, lot of, a lot of the guys that, uh, that I smoke with happen to be on this trip, so uh, jumped on board. Terry Brennan, good friend of mine, brother, invited me. And I was able to reunite with uh, a bunch of his friends, and uh, it's been a life-changing weekend. My brothers at Quantico, I'm not stationed there, my wife is, so I frequent it down there, so they invited me. And some of these brothers I'd never met before, but now we're, we are true brothers. And uh, can't put a price on that. Definitely what brought me here was the camaraderie that Marines share with one another. Throughout the years, I have found that when we all get together, the first thing we like to do is not just sit down and open a beer, but we love to smoke a good cigar. And I was invited to come down here with a group of guys I've respected over the years, a group of Marines, and they invited me to come down here to smoke some cigars and enjoy the camaraderie with them. This is my second time actually coming to a cigar safari here with Drew Estate uh, to get our Marines down here and our friends, and we went back and told them about it. Uh, but Drew Estate, much like the Marine Corps, we found out is a family. The way that Marvin and Jonathan and this company treat their people is very much like how we in the Marine Corps take care of our own. So we grew to know them and understand what they do for us, uh, which they probably will never understand, being in combat and being there where we can't. There's no drinking, there's no anything. So we sit around at the end of the night and we would smoke cigars. And the camaraderie that was brought out of that is what brought us here to Drew Estate. And all of it really means doing what we love to do the most, which is to hang out, relax, talk about things, sometimes talk about nothing, sometimes be silly, sometimes have a nice drink, but the consistent thing over and over again is friends. And that's the best part. Memorable moment. <laughs> Probably this evening, just the, you know, the, the final day where everything kind of comes to fruition, everything's come to an end. But uh, you know, all the stories that have gone on for the, the last three or four days, all the experiences that we've had going through the factories, uh, learning, learning everything about the tobacco uh, industry, uh, production, marketing. Um, but at the same time, just coming back and just sitting down having dinner together, just the stories that uh, that come out from that. Um, it, something that's that's never going to happen anywhere else. The most memorable moment that I experienced while I was here was the Marine Corps birthday celebration that we got to share as Marines with everyone here and I feel like I added a few members to my family. So that night was the most unbelievable experience and it's only continued since we've been here so none of us want to go home. We wish we could stay here but we understand it's only farewell until we meet again. The most unique thing about Drew Estate is their culture and their subculture. There's definitely a culture of understanding cigars and the process and making cigars. And so the adventure of just going through uh, the factories here in uh, Nicaragua and especially the Drew Estate uh, factory, that culture in itself is alive and prosperous. You can just see it amongst all the workers. They're happy, there's zeal all throughout the factory. And that was really neat to see. But the subculture that's underneath it was very unique in itself too. The unique art that Drew Estate brings to expressing how they feel about cigars. We could be in Minnesota freezing our ass off, but we would still do this. We would be on the beaches of California we'd still do this. Anywhere in the world, you get two Marines together, you have a brotherhood. Giddy up.